is part of your star evaluation. Uh, it's, the stars is made up of a number of different components, like calves go through, the commercial calves go through the, the open ring here, um, and our, their weight and their sales price goes to the star rating on a pole, whatever pole they are out of that, that all information is all gathered and it goes to the star rating. And the, the visual assessment and the weighing that we do is part of it, it it's probably about 25% of it. The other part of it is that they, the figures that's on, on the parents of the animal, like whatever star rating the mother has or whatever star rating the father has, has a big effect on it. So if I score this calf here, what I am doing is part of this evaluation, but it's only part. There's not a lot more made up of calves going through the mark of siblings of him, but say are the same sire, uh, and also his mother's star rating, his father's star rating. Even cattle going through the, the meat plants has an effect on the star rating. Your, your, your beef carcass value is, is based on the cattle going through the factories. And uh, the carcass weight and the grade all goes into that. So it's, it's quite a complex amount of information and there's an awful lot of information being gathered. Some may criticise it, but it is, it is working. And uh, I'm told recently there that on a survey of weanling calves going through the local marks, uh, the five-star calves more than more than more than, uh, more than average are coming up with the better prices. Now, when we go out to score a weighted calf, we score uh, for muscle, skeletal, functionality. And then there's also the breed traits. So when we go out to score, we start off and we score the animal. Easy one. There's an old pot open over here. We, we score the animal and across, we start off across the shoulder blade. Now the muscle traits are all scored from 1 to 15. So 15 being the best. So uh, we'll say the width across the shoulder. Width behind the shoulder, the depth of the loin, the round of the rump, the width of the rump, and the fullness of the inner thigh. That makes up your that makes up your muscle figure, your muscle uh, evaluation. And all of those are scored from one to fifteen. Uh, and then the skeletal is the height of the withers, which is the height of the shoulder here, from the ground up, the length of the back. Gives you a skeleton. Uh, and functionality is. I'll just say that the skeletal is scored from 1 to 10. Only the muscle figures are scored from 1 to 15. And all the reads are scored from the exact same uh, scale. So like, it doesn't matter if it's Hereford, Angus, Belgium Blue, Charlie, Limousin, everything is scored on the same scale. But naturally, a lot of your traditional breeds, like your Hereford or your Angus, won't have the round rump or the width of rump or possibly the thickness of loin with a continental and all that. Um, the functionality then is on the front legs, as you look at the animal from a front view. And uh, this is slightly different here now because it's scored from 1 to 10, but 5 is perfect. So if you've got an animal and he's a seven, he's turning in. If he's, a, if he's like this bull here and he's turning out, he's a three. So the closer you go to one or the closer you go to ten, the worse it is. I was scoring cattle for a man one time in Donegal and he said to me, he says, what do you have to do to get a get nine or a ten in legs? And I said, well, you don't want it for a start because if you've got a nine or you've got a two or a one, your animals and problems. Uh, so that's the front leg. It's for it from a front view. Bed straight is perfect, and that's a five. If he turns out, he's a four. If he's a little bit more, he's a three. And if he's turning in, it's a six or a seven, going up to ten. Probably the worst one is the one that's turning in because it tends to spread the shoulders if they're turning, turning in a wee bit. The hind legs, we do it from two points. We do it from a side view, 
which is, as I'm standing, look at this calf here, and that's the angle of the leg from a side view. So this calf here is standing very well on his leg, so that, that, that's a good side view. Uh, we also walk them when we're looking at that to see that they're not sort of walking too much under themselves. Again, if you have a 10, he's very hooky. If you have him a 1, if he's a 1, he's not too straight. So 5 is perfect. You know, a six or a four is just one off perfect. So a lot of cattle you would find sort of sixes and fours, but you don't want a ten again. The same thing on the hind legs, you look from a rear view as well. And the rear view, um, if he's turning in the hocks, you give him a three or whatever it is. If he's turning, if he's walking with his toes in, then he's going the opposite way. So that gives you a functionality of figures. Um, then you have the depth of chest, which is the depth here. Uh, the depth of the hind quarter, we give figures for them as well. Also the size of the testicles, we, we give a rating on that from 1 to 10. So, just... This hole here, as you see, you know, this, this hole is great muscling, showing a lot of muscle here, so I would give him a very good figure there, I'd give him probably a 12 out of, 12 out of 10 there, or 12 out of 15 for the round of rump. He's good width again, you could give him a 12 for the width, maybe a 13, he's very wide, and he's got a great fullness of the inner thigh there. Um, width across the shoulders is very good as well, give him a 12. And with behind the shoulders, he drops in one point there behind the shoulders, so you'd give him 11 on behind the shoulders. Tremendous step to loin here. You get the full of your hand of flesh there, and that's a very vital part of the, of the animal, because that's where you get your T-bones and your fillet steak. And uh, that piece, that cut there, is three times more valuable than any part of the hind quarter. So that's a vital part, and a lot of people, when they're buying bulls, the look at the hind quarter and forget about that part there. Well, that's a very, very important part. And if you have a long animal, you have more meat there as well. So length is very important. Um, when we score that there, you now, I give that bull there, you give him about a 13 for the, for the depth of line. When that goes for evaluation, that figure is doubled because of the value of that meat. So that has a huge effect on all his overall scores. So the loin is a very important part of the animal. Then you have the height. This one probably is not the tallest in the world, and he, he doesn't he doesn't give the impression that he's going to be very tall, but he's, he's tremendous muscle. So I'll give him a five for the height. Then the back is from here to the hip bone there. I'll give him a six there. The length of the hip is from here 